Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> okay, sweetheart. So it's died. beautifully part what? number two. It's beautifully uncertain, Gregory. Yeah. Um. Uh, it's yeah. beautifully without any control. Yeah, it's just completely wide control. open. Yeah. Uh, Boundaries. It's beautifully scary. It it's is. It's beautifully shitty. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. And it's so yeah. ordinary. And it's beautifully boring. Yeah. Deliciously discomforting. <laughs> great, great, yeah. Hopelessly. Uh, what about what about if I throw here in the word um, hingabe? What is it called in English? Hingabe, devotion. What's coming up there? Devotion. Devotion. Mm. Praise. Religion. Devotion. I am. Um... Completely, I don't know, just devoted to what is, I suppose. Yes. Sounds like effort. Trust. Smells like yeah. effort. <laughs> oh. Oh, just completely <laughs> effort. Well, everything, is, even effort is effortless. So. Sweetheart, uh, you're muted. Xander Lynch, and you're muted. Ah. Uh, it, it's effortless already. Even the feeling that it, this takes effort. You know, oh, this takes so much effort. Oh, I feel it's effort. Oh, it's already effortless. Here, yeah, like, like the example with the small children, when they when they try to stand up, you know the first steps to stand up. When when you watch when you watch it, this baby, it's like it's like as if it's such an effort, but it's so curious, it's so it just wants to get up and falling again and get up. And you think, wow, what an effort! But it, but it's totally effortless happening already naturally. So the body wants to stand up. Like and, an animal uh, learning how to walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're claiming that it is effortless or that it takes effort for a baby to get up is already effortlessly what seems to be happening. <laughs> the whole judgment is already just innocently, effortlessly, spontaneously. I mean, and not even. It's just another story about effort and effortlessly and spontaneously. And It's like a me supporter, though, as well. Because this, the whatever's still going on, if, as soon as that label comes along that says that's effort, now it feels like, oh, I'm making all this effort here. I deserve to see some results or, or whatnot. But it's just a word, though. It's just a word. Yeah. Um, whatever it is is still going on under the word covers. You no, know, that put in a lot of effort, and then someone comes over and says, "Man, you haven't done anything yet." <laughs> so triggering. Yeah. What do you mean I didn't do anything? I put it in chapters. <laughs> Need you to do it all over again. What? It was me. I did it. Yeah. I'm doing all that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not life efforting. No way. <laughs> Personal effort here. So I mean, you can sit there and say it Praise feels like me, effort. effort. That word will get believed in real quick when it gets challenged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't believe in effort. Yeah, you've never made an effort in your whole life. I can tell. Mm. Now, hey, hey, it's like the same thing with real. belief. Beliefs get to collapse, and then they still get to arise. It seems like they no longer arise for you, but they seem to just arise for everything still. Mm. So. It, that that was a big struggle too when that the, the me dropped and beliefs were dropping because it, it was constantly like people it was it was like it would drop and it would seem like the appearance would just kind of throw it back at it and it was like there's nobody here so why do you keep throwing those beliefs back here and insisting that there's somebody here <laughs> and it was a lot of and there so it was a fight with that going on and then fighting back with that trying to tell everyone else the same thing there is no use why do you keep them trying to put it on me <laughs> it was a silly argument but um but you can still, the beliefs were still kind of there, but kind of hidden in that because they're still saying that somebody's doing something, somebody's saying something to me, telling me that it's a me here. And so it was, it was very covert the way that would happen, the way that it would kind of arise up and, and then fall into that, thinking it was talking about somebody here was struggling with a me. <laughs> I, I, the yeah. only thing, you know, what seems to arise here is what no, the no me, you know. 
I think it's a little bit misleading as far as it can be misleading. Very misleading. Because here there's never a saying there's no you. There's just simply no separation. That's something else. Right. This yeah. is more the Tony Parson uh, fantasy clan, you know, talking about no me and, and all that horse shit. I mean... No, um, but usually, Sanders, the word me refers to separation and the word I refers to non-separation. People say the big I or the one I. Yeah, that the was me, the Ramana, you know, the small I and the big I and the, yeah. and the self yes. and the big I. So, so there's just the self, nothing yeah, else. Some people say that yeah. there's no separated right. self doing the selfing. It's all the self. Kind of how Ramana actually spoke of the self that there was just that self and that was it. I mean, yeah, no. But no, me is you know. It's uh, I think it's a little bit. It can be misleading, of course. You know, misleading for who? You know. But, but why misleading? Well, there seems to be many. I, uh, you know, it's the sense that something needs to fall away. That you there know? is really a, a before and an after. Right. Like, before and uh, an after. Gregory right, explained no? the story. You know that it was so convincing. Again, why are they telling that there is? You know, it's not there, but it's, right. it never was there. Only was then, and then, like... you know, only then. So it, there's a, a certain idea, you know, and only when that happens. And of course, they don't say that it actually happened only apparently, but the word apparently is not heard. There's a bunch of people waiting for stuff uh, to happen. And then finally uh, they are in paradise. It's right. just not heard. It's just yeah, they're, like, they're waiting for the apparently to stop. Yeah. And it's not going to stop. What stops is that Which fight. Which itself is already an appearance. There's no right. actual appearances. No. No. I think a lot of them are what they're looking for is to have peace with what's happening. They don't even want to get rid of what's happening. They just want the me to be at it's peace business. with what's happening. I mean, to earn money as a non-duality speaker, you have to keep people engaged. Yeah, you have to. You have to. It's you have money. To tell a story. Yeah, it's business. Keep them coming back. <laughs> but so innocent in play, need, of course. You need to hold a subtle. So. Yeah, of course, but there's nothing Innocently wrong. Innocently so. Yeah, of course. It's just coming out what comes out, like the verbal diarrhea, sweetheart. Mm. Yeah, it's all diarrhea. I mean, oh. what else? Yeah. Yeah, R Raigo said this, the man from Era. As, as soon as the mouth opens, the story begins. I would say it doesn't even need to open for the story to begin. Beautiful. There's a non-verbal story, and there's nothing more than that. And the non-verbal story is already uncontrollable. In that way, you know, speaking is just thoughts externalized in a certain way, not even. even. That's just another idea. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just bullshit. Uh, Sanders, in your conversation with Walter, you know what I'm talking about. Walter. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You said that in a certain point in your life, you were searching for something like consciousness or awareness. Could you say a uh, few words about that? Well, I was, you know, from early on, it was seen that there was just this, you know, life as it is. Whatever people claim to be it is, you know, uh, growing up. You mean getting... no separation, sweetheart? Getting well, just you know, just whatever. It's just this, you know. You can call it whatever you want, life or up, up, up growing or right. Okay. So, but there was not an idea that there was something else, but there was just a curiosity. What is this? What is this? Mm. It was not out of the necessity to you know because this was not loved or this was not liked. Right. It, it was never out of a sense of lack, lack. so to mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. because I didn't feel I had something, nor did I didn't have something, you know, there was not a sense of having, nor a sense of not having. Yeah, there but usually the idea of awareness or consciousness is not but out of the sense of me, but it is almost like a, a metaphysical question that says that something must see what is happening. Something must be aware about the stories. 
what is aware of the stories, like Rosa asked before. And sometimes people who come from an Advaita background, they start by beginning by believing that there is this background awareness yeah. that is aware of the yeah. stories, right? Which Yeah, which... that's that but but what there seems to happen is the whole observer thing yeah. is is trying to create a separation which yeah. is already not there in the shape of trying to convince yourself that you are an observer outside of this exactly. which which creates a certain bubble of, of safety which yeah. cannot yeah. be uphold yeah it's just innocently trying to help so it's, someone. it's like a therapy you know it's a it's therapy like, yeah uh, help help i mean going going to the therapist step. may happen yeah resonating with uh i don't know how it's called this religion of the observer for me it's a religion another one it's yeah, innocent yeah. it's play this may simply i also loved it like this this safety bubble being the observer yeah. until i didn't it yeah. just yeah. So, yeah. so from this is happening to me now i'm the seer of this happening so uh so there's a distance you know there's mm -hmm. there's a so-called created separation but it's yeah. it's that itself is already not separated that yeah. is the joke yeah the whole <laughs> set of a separated observer is already not separated from something else even wait a sec sweetheart keep it tony tony guri well i am very sorry uh more than sundays i have to leave uh, a quarter to yeah sweetheart. but i would like to say two things it tell me uh, the word um, devotion, uh, devotion, no? Rosa has asked about devotion. Devotion is a, a word with a pejorative charge, not religious. But mm, mm, no, no, because uh, I feel devotion, for example, for speaking about this, for this not nonsense, not knowing of that's devotional here, here, absolutely. And yeah. um, Tony Parsons was the, the first day I, I met saying there's no me. I was happy the first time. Wow, well, of course, there's no me. And then, well, doesn't matter. But well, I'm very, I appreciate the first one who said, there's no me. For me, for me, was amazing. Yeah. And yes, there's no me and there's me, there's no me. But there's different uniqueness. One, two, three, four, absolutely unique. Let's, full on, Rosa, full yeah. on, yeah. me, me yeah, beautiful. Alone. Absolutely. It's not personal. It's, it's yeah. crazy. Nobody knows. But beautiful. let's meet. Let's me. Full on. Full on. Nice. Ah, nice. Yeah. Tony, nice. thank you so much, sweetheart. I wish you a beautiful evening. And see you on Tuesday on Zander Lynch and Zoom. See you. Love you. Bye, Tony. Bye. See you, Tony. Sweetheart, Zander Lynch. And oh. So continue. Continue with. Well, this identification with the physical form, so to say, it's innocent, you know? Uh, Identifying with the physical form, with this body, is just as innocent as whatever seems to be happening, you know? There's no one behind the identifying. And then there can be an identifying with something separate as an observer. So, oh, I'm not the body. No, I'm the seeing of the body. I'm the seeing of the thoughts. Now, uh, what Sandra seems to be talking about, too, is uh, I can relate to that as a child because I remember having that natural curiosity for, like, literally everything. Anything and everything was very curious. I wanted to know what it was, and I would go to my mom and dad were like, they were God, um, what, every, what everything was to me as a child. So I went to them and asked them, what is this? And there would just be this wide-open natural curiosity for everything, just be blown away in awe by whatever I was looking at. And I just wanted to know more about it. So the, the first thing that would rise up is, "What is this?" And it's already it's already in, it's answered in itself. But for, for for something there that wants to know what that is, it wants to stand on something that's there. Well, as I started more knowing started to come in, that curiosity seemed to disappear. 
that natural curiosity and I started to seem to know everything and everything seemed to become dead. Yeah. I know what a tree is. I've seen that tree a thousand times. Don't point it out to me. I don't care about that tree. Don't want a tree. Yeah, I've seen oh, that tree. I, I want times. something we more. Something, something yeah, more right substantial. Now. Yeah. So I want the pack to us. Right. And then, <laughs> new then content. That, yeah. And then when all that knowing, when the, 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 the illusion of knowing was seen through, when it was seen as just a thought, when it was like knowing is just a thought, and then it was just completely dropped out, then it was just, <laughs> all of a sudden, everything was alive again. Like everything was brand new again. Like I don't know what that is. And I went over there, I'm looking at this tree, and I'm like touching this tree again, and I'm like getting close to this tree. This is just a tree before, and I'm over here touching it and everything else, and I'm just blown <laughs> yeah. away about this tree. If any, I don't care if anybody <laughs> watching either, I'm just blown away by this tree. And, then, and it's not a tree, because I'm just touching it and everything. I'm like, this. I've been over <laughs> here, everything like this is distance, and it's dead, and it's, this, is just, this is everything right here. And it was just, it was just blowing me away in that, so... And there was this like this big bliss and, you know, feeling like I'm jumping through, skipping through fields and thinking that was supposed to stay that way. And then that kind of goes back to being ordinary again. But that's how, how this always feels, right? It goes from ordinary to feeling extraordinary to that's and, just what happens. That's what, how yeah, it feels. And, and while listening to you, Gregory, I, I was remembering how it was with me. And wow. uh, I just noticed, I know what you're talking about, but at the same time here, it was completely different. Wow. But uh, yeah, so uh, every everybody in a way plays out unique, uniquely, completely different. Yeah. Uh, there is no no story is the same as the other. Like yeah, and and this is in a way amazing. Um, I love it. Yeah, yeah, everything. If you look at every difference has similarities, and every difference or every difference has similarities, and every similarity has differences in them. They're inseparable. <laughs> so there is a way no it's no, what it is sweetheart there is the directness of what is there's no particular way actually so it's everything <laughs> oh there is just a way yeah only words. A way. <laughs> the way is always <laughs> under there's the way now out. buddy <laughs> I'm just throwing in something you know yeah yeah beautiful Giovanni what did you say the way is always <laughs> under our our feet. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Huh? The Milky Way. <laughs> <Huh>? No. <laughs> that's it. I no. think that's the answer, Rosa. The way, that's it. The way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it can work that way too. Uh, the way is always under our own feet. Uh, there is yeah. no other way. Yeah. Well, it's there funny. There, way there is no way to thinking there is a way or not. It's already just simply yeah. this. Yeah. Thinking there's a path to this is already, you know, there's no path to thinking that there's a path to this. It's already this. Right. Yeah, so there's gonna be there's gonna be those that are gonna try to still get rid of the me anyway. No matter how many times you try to tell them there's no me to get rid of, they're gonna still try to get rid of the me. They're not gonna listen to it. They're just gonna continue to try to get rid of the me. And uh, how that's can just you get happening. rid of it when there's only the me? Right, that's that's it's all that's there. happening. That's See? just what's happening. So you can't get rid of what's happening as it's well, happening. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can because there's nothing else. You know, right. there, there's nothing separated to get rid of this or to 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 change it or whatever. You know, well, it's getting rid of itself anyway. So it's already it's already getting rid of it as it's happening. It's getting rid of itself. Whatever's happening is just falling away. So it's just what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, it take time away. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. why, you know, I'm surprised Tony Daniels is not here joining us this week, though. <laughs> I know. I he would love yeah. to see him. I, I like Tony Daniels. Yeah, he'd be honest. perfect for this part right here. <laughs> yeah, but I guess I guess it's a bit hard for him because it's always like two or three a.m. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess Aww. Tony, Tony here. That's if you right. if you watch it. We are greeting you, sweetheart Tony Daniels. Yeah, it's and, nice uh, to have him here. You know, enjoy, uh, yeah, enjoy, I enjoy got... your beauty sleep, and maybe you can <laughs> jump onto a Zander Lynch in Tuesday Zoom again. Okay. <laughs> and we're even mentioning you when you're not here, so we do like your words. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, um, <laughs> you know, when when the idea that you the, the, that you are the only one right, you know, then then everything is wrong, so to say. It's all just simply uh, this, whatever it's been. It's innocent, you know. So, what's the big deal? Yeah, every every single word is right and wrong, and neither. 
yeah. <laughs> What uh, about what about when the beautiful non-dual speakers are? Oh, in a way, this implies already that I'm not a beautiful <laughs> non-dual speaker. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, but what what is when they say, well, um, the sense of me, it's not only an idea; it's really a felt yeah. sense of me. What's coming? Well, up? some see, I talked about this, you know, with also with um, in our conversation, right, Giovanni? So right. there was a sense of being behind the eyes. It's, it's like an experience, ball, or something. it's a lift, a lift sense of behind the eyes, mm -hmm. you know. But that's so it's that's already innocent, you know. There's no one behind that creating the feeling behind the eyes or the. Not that, only behind the eyes, it's also a lot of. Oh, some have it in they the say, chest. Uh, in a way, a contracted know? energy, a body. It's bodily. It's it's felt. A sense it's of really location. Hmm. Maybe yeah, maybe sure. A sense of location, maybe I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because position. That's beautiful. Yeah. Location, yeah. 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 That doesn't yeah. play here. So that that's the funny. I would like to feel like a me yeah. and to have a life. Yeah. So it would be yeah. nice. I would love yeah. to have a life. Yeah, that's so okay. Don't do you, it, Patrick. Yeah. Don't what do it. Do it. <laughs> what, what you call a felt sense, or what I used to call a felt sense, that's still here, but it's just aliveness is everything. It's not. It's no longer called a felt sense. It's no longer owned. It's no longer associated with a thing, an object, a body, any of that. In fact, the body itself completely disappears all the time. So and no matter what distance you look at the body, it'll disappear. With your eyes wide open, you can put it under an electron microscope and put your cells under there and the body disappears. You don't see any body. You just if see you look up, you don't molecules. See it. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, yeah, it's it always... It sounds a little bit like... Uh, and it, uh, it's, Greg, it's never a separate sounds... appearance. The body's not appearing separately uh, by itself amongst the, the appearance. It's literally everything appearing. Oh, no, no, exactly. Of course, always. What else? I mean, you cannot step out of the directness of whatever seems to be happening. You know, there's no there there's is. no separation. So it's it, you cannot divide the body from from the rest. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, there, there is no, no other eyes, way. Story, there's there no, is no other action. way of be, of being a human except by being in the human body. How else? But uh, what you, it reminds me, Gregory, what you were saying, like the pointing experiments. Douglas, uh, how is his name? Douglas, uh, Douglas Hardy. Uh, Hardy. Douglas Hardy. You know, uh, you know, when you point, and then when you point here, then you know nothing is. Yeah. It's you know everything is there, and nothing is there. You know, it's. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's like you. You, you need all this... those things. You know, when it comes to. To, to to science, and here there's just simply no interest. It's from right. you know. It doesn't right. matter anyway. It's not about what science is telling or non-duality. Right. Are saying, you know, there's just simply what seems to be experienced or claimed to be experienced. Yeah. And that can be the love and and the finding truth in science or the lack of it. Yeah. That's yeah, that's, that's the freedom, science, you know? science science is in a way is in a way simply a knowing of something, right? So it's right. already oh. The, the funny thing, Rose, I, I talked about this with Andre also. Most science, science on, you know, I, th I think she said on neuro something, neuro blah, 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 blah something else. They, they generally agree that they don't know. Yeah. They all, you know, they, they are, are ingredients that they don't know. But when it comes to non-duality, many claim that they know. Yeah. That they don't know. Because well, they believe they know that, that they is, don't know. I know yeah. that I don't there know. There is someone who oh, does not gosh. know. So, so here there's always a speaking, so to say, from how it's here. This doesn't say shit. It doesn't say that it's true, or that it's real or unreal. You know, there can be, you, you, there can be a belief, you know, arising there, so to say, that ah, what he knows is real, but. That's not what I'm saying. This is just how it seems here. That's all. Yeah, right. don't to be right. a truth or to be a knowing or whatever, but it doesn't mean that it can be heard as a knowing or it can be heard as the truth or it can be heard as something special. That's mm -hmm. it. It's already uncontrollable. <laughs> so, so, I mean, it's already... Beads. Beads, Rosa. What are they? <laughs> 
Oh, sweetheart, continue, please. <laughs> Plus, this is tracking us. Sorry. Sorry, Sandy. It's very rude of Rosa. Oh, I had... It was me. So, I was so rude. Everyone <laughs> speaking from his own so called experience. What else? What else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know, there's nothing wrong. It's just what's what's what seems to be happening then, you know, thinking there's a me, believing, feeling there's a me, not feeling there's a me, claiming that there are ten thousands me, claiming you are the reincarnation of uh, Ramana himself. I mean, it's you know, I'm not going to disagree if that is what's been, you know, believed or thought. That's it. Let's let's come back to the Zander Lynch, and like you said, with. When you were a child, um, there was no not a sense of a lack, but there no. was this curiosity. But also not a sense of having everything. You know, there was not and no lack, lack no or no lack separation. But there's also no sense <laughs> of wholeness. I have no goddamn clue how it feels to be whole or separated. There's no feeling in that direction. Yeah. And so, in a way, we we can maybe say so. Uh, for me, there was the sense of a lack at one point. This kicked in. This was new for me. I had no clue why. This did not make any sense in a way. What the heck? And I have everything. Nevertheless, there is the sense of lack or this. So let's say Rosa believed there was a thought or someone said something often enough. And I started to believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, that's how it works. That they call self fulfilling <laughs> prop. Oh, yeah. Cool. Here that the, the whole sense of separation didn't really start to kick in until my my, my little brother was born. It came into the picture. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the conflict. You're the only one until he was born, and then no, but, no, but what Sanders talking came. about? What Sanders talking about? There being no, there was there was no sense of that of being not even a sense, yeah, or whole or any of that. You would have told me any yeah. of that back then. I wouldn't have known what you were talking about. I wouldn't. There was He's no just sense. Just saying with me, we, you know. Not a so when it's a, there's no sense of me. There's no sense of no me either. How in the hell should that feel? The sense of no me. So there's no sense of a me, nor a sense of no me. How 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 in the hell would that feel? Feels so good. Yeah. Feel like a no me. You know, no one feels like a no me. No one feels like a me. It's just bullshit. There's just a self-referential loop claiming that you are a person in time and space having a life having a, everything <laughs> there's no fucking you any to, to do anything about it yeah so in yeah. a way we can say in the directness of what is there is no experience yeah no no in order an to have an experience, experience you need to well i i don't say there's no experience there's just yeah. the experience just the experience okay well, even it's a, no even one. before Right. Even before that, because there was there was still the sensation, oh, that's my mom, that's my dad, these are my toys and all that. But it wasn't a lack and it wasn't an abundance either. There yes. was no 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 real possession. It was a very free type possession. It's all here and it's mine. But, it, you know, it, it wasn't like a latching on until my little brother came in the picture. And it's like, hey, it's mine. You know, like back off. Hey. Dude. <laughs> that's the Does game. Anyone that's feel, the game. Does, does anyone feel he has a body? Not even, no, the body. I don't even know oh, what that Alex, is. Not that. Casey, Casey, <laughs> you're body. out. There's a... You're out. We continue with the second question. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to your corner, Casey. You have to go to your corner. No, Casey. Oh, my God. Okay, there's a sensation <laughs> here. The, the, this can get sick. This structure, whatever you want to call a body, can get sick and it can be go to the doctor and get checked out. There's but is there, there. Okay, is there a sense, this is my body then? This no, is, I, it's not mine to own anyway, it's just what's yeah. happening. And, and yeah. we can who, who is there to own the body, you know? Right, right. And, but it's beautiful and, and, that the body can also tell me what it wants to eat. Yeah. And yeah, but Gregory, who is it, to, who, to who is listening, to who, you right. know, to who is the body talking? Because it's Exactly, always, nothing. Huh? To, to who is the body saying I need food? Nobody. Just expressions, yeah. Just empty it's expressions. Dream, yeah, part of the dream, but you know, you got to eat in the dream, and different foods are better than others, and it it does wrap around in, in a lot of ways. Or you get that that comes in the preferences and all that stuff too, and those arise all actually without those are impersonal too. Those still yeah. arise. So those so preferences only... still arise. Yeah, hey, that's the beautiful thing about it. preferences can still arise, and you can, <laughs> you know, you can sit there and not prefer someone 
chewing you out and something decided, okay, I'm going to go somewhere else. He was not going to stop chewing me out. <laughs> or you could fight him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could fight him and shut him up. <laughs> so, no. so in a way, you know, <laughs> language is dualistic, you know, but but thoughts are just <laughs> language, uh, non-expressed, not verbalized, you know, it's, yeah. it's great, but all itself is already not separated from something else. Yeah, here, for example, even Sweden, the sense of separation is already not separated. Separated from what? Separated from beautiful. where? Beautiful, beautiful, yeah, sweetheart. In a way, that's going to be an afterthought, right, Sanders? And that's when it gets kind of really yeah, beautiful because but... then you start looking at like, what is this separation? You see, it's clearly not separate. So then you start yeah. looking at closely and get more intimate with that separation. Uh, it's the same with feeling incomplete you know i mean it that's completely feeling incomplete there's nothing yeah. lacking in the sense of feeling incomplete the well, sense of lack is already completely the sense of lack so to say what else yeah what else geo by the way zander as uh, sander sander without s sander but it doesn't matter no with us to me yeah 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 because you always say zanders oh okay. it doesn't matter I know, do I know, but it's, it's, uh, it's it doesn't matter. It's just Thunder. here, you see, it's just innocently coming out to, to tell this, even though it simply doesn't yeah. matter. And here, with the thoughts, like in a way, it's it's speaking without speaking it out. I, I'm totally enjoying the thoughts here running. This this this, this thought, it's so beautiful. It's, mm. it's just such a joy. This I call yeah. it enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. 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 What is it, Giovanni? You said no. something about before and after. I don't remember. <laughs> Boom. <Right. laughs> well Karen. Now, Karen, now Karen, dig Karen, down Karen. the imaginary box. Huh? Where is? Where's the box of memory to dig into? <laughs> Poor Here. Where? where <laughs> Where are memories? Yeah, where are That's memories? a nice question, isn't it? Everything yeah. is a memory, sweetheart. Uh, Everything is a memory yeah. already. Every word. Every word. Time, it's space, the words. memory. Oh. And it's funny because the memories don't ever arise until right here in this direct immediacy. It's the, only time that, the only time that memory will arise as it is and it'll never arise again. <laughs> it never happened before and it'll never happen again. Yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of those things because they seem like they arise until you like really look at a memory, until you look past that story of what they say memories are, and you believe that into what a memory is about a past, and it never happens in a past. It's like here, of... Garrett, Garrett, Garrett told us at the beginning yeah. that he was on the Rolling Stone concert. No, no, it was not Rolling Stone. It was mm -hmm. uh, it was who? Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. So, what like was it, Stone. Garrett? Was it real that you was there on the Bob Dylan concert? <laughs> is this just a memory? <laughs> what is this? It's real. It's real, yes. It seems very real. Oh, real. Uh -huh. Garrett. What? What was so the what question? <laughs> what was it? What, what, do you want to tell me that this story you told us is not real? Did not really happen? I can't remember now. Um, what we talked about. Um, There's a I right answer I, to this, Gareth, and we're waiting for it. I think I said that I saw Bob Dylan uh, 40 years ago and seen him again last week. So there must be time. A, conti a sense of continuation. Yes, some time, yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the popular speakers are saying there is no time. I would say yeah, there's like, no time. They're just say that what's happening. I don't say there's no time or whatever because you can use time and what's happening. You can talk about time and what just seems to be happening right now. Um, Garrett, don't worry. I would say there is change. change. Yeah, it doesn't matter there whether there's time or not, not time. time. It's just, it's yeah. just what's happening. I can tell you, Garrett, there's just time. Nothing that else. makes it more clear. There's no time for you only. You know, there's just time. What else? Uh, tick yeah. tock, tick tock. You see it no. on the wall? 
when the direct immediacy of what is there's just that's where all time is happening right here you can't experience anything outside what is, what is this direct immediacy i cannot agree with that sanders come oh, on giovanni it, it's just it's just a funny comment like a time is that's the whole thing you know saying that there is no time all these types of absolute statements are just horseshit no. It's just uh, like yeah, saying, okay, 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 okay they, let, yeah, let's, no, let's add one way or the other. It's not going to work. Let, time let's, no add, time doesn't let's add. You know, <laughs> no, wait, you, wait, sorry. You know, this is this is a thing which is just, I, you know, people are calling and saying, well, Sander, there's still stuff happening here and nothing should happen. You know, when is nothing happening anymore? <laughs> because the populist people are saying there's nothing happening. It's disgusting. It's just bullshit. It's just flipping coins. They say apparently, yeah. sweetheart, always. They're adding yeah, apparently no, always they, to they it. Say, no, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening ever. Nothing is happening. Horseshit. It's, you know, this is as real as it gets, as it seems, you know? Yes, there is time. There, uh, there is no time, you know? This is not yeah. about if there's time or no time. You know, the by the way, that the, by the, way no the time, time the time is Who running that? out, sweetheart. The time is running out. Do we Here want you go. to go you have time. to three? I would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Of course. Okay. I mean, cool, so, sweetheart. So. So there's the on. appearance of time, or the or the belief of time, or the sensation of time, no, or the idea. There are, there are object. The moment that we you refer to a thing to an object. Or already it is implicit that there is time, but there is no separate time and objects. The, no, that's why I say the very it's existence time. of an object apparently means that seems to suggest that there is time, but there is no time. Yeah. Time is a measure of change. If if of imagine course, it's yourself, an idea. imagine your yeah, imagine yourself in in a in a space without any movement what like if you like mean? like when we say yeah, we go back this, to yeah is that Eddie? <laughs> when who, we go back to like <laughs> who, who would imagine you know what is the need to imagine you yourself in a space no, where there's that, that's just hurt. a way of speaking so because we are talking about discussing what is time so i must use words or use images whatever oh, yeah. tools I have. I mean, otherwise I just shut up and don't speak, right? No, but I understand you, Ivani, but this is to make it logical. You know, even to make it logical is already just, like I said, it's not about if there is time or no time, you know? This is not about if there's something. Who knows that there is no time? What's in between time and no time? Yeah, who knows what time is? It's just a concept or an idea. So there is time as an idea that there is time, or there is time as the thought, as the thought or the construct that there is time. Time is running out, one minute and thirty seconds. You know, it's a practical thing. So absolute statements, you know. It's so not absolute. I don't think it is absolute. I just don't see, don't see how you can isolate time and say, yeah, that's time, it exists. Oh, no, but th it's... there are no things. That's clear. I you can know, only are... see things changing, a measure of change. If yes. there is no change, you wouldn't talk about time. Well, even without that concept, what change is actually happening? I mean, there's no way to label what's even happening. The... There are no things, you know, the idea that there are things or, or the, the claim that there are no <laughs> things itself is already not the thing. Where is it? Yeah, I believe you. that there are things or, or claiming that there are things itself is already not a thing. You know, where is where is the borders? Whatever is happening has no edges. Yeah, I agree. No, it's it's not, not even a question about if there is time or no time. Yeah, but it was the question was raised. So. We are yeah. trying to answer, right? Of course, but it's funny when when we come to because these third, certain types of absolute claims about well, nothing is happening, no me, there's no reality, it's all a dream, it's just flipping coins. This is as real as it gets, or as real as yeah. It's but if if we analyze what you are 